next step in our process is going to be claying this vehicle. Basically what claying does, it takes a piece of detailing clay like this, I'm going to slide it across the paint with some of these sprays here, and then it picks up the contaminants on top of the paint and puts them into here, and then basically you have the cleanest surface possible for when applying a sealant or a wax. So this is some Meguiar's detailing clay. I'll get a link for it in the description. There's also some newer things uh, called clay towels, and that's what this is. It's basically this in just a bigger form, and it's, it's just kind of a rubberized material. What's kind of cool about these is that as you work this across the paint, you can eventually just rinse it out in like a bucket of soap and water. Whereas this, eventually it wears out, you get so much junk in here that you don't want to use it anymore. So you can use something like a detail spray to spray on and then move the clay across, or something that I like to use is called waterless wash. And I also have a link to this down in the description. This is really one of my favorite products I use all the time for a lot of different things. That's what we're gonna do now. I'll take you in and I'll show you the hood section and how we would do this. Okay, so first thing is if you have this detailing clay, you're just gonna kind of take it and get it nice and flat and into a uniform piece here. So we're gonna stretch this out a little bit. So really all this entails is we're gonna spray this down with a little bit of this waterless wash. We're gonna spray this section liberally. You can get it pretty wet. And then basically you're just going to run this across the paint. You don't need any pressure. You're just gonna go This is a slightly abrasive process, so you don't want to go too aggressive here. But this is basically all you do. I didn't show you here, but something that some people use to tell what's left on the paint as far as contaminants would be to take your hand and put it inside of a Ziploc bag and then feel the paint. And basically our fingers can't feel everything that's on there, but you add that extra layer and it really tells you what's still on the paint. So that's something you can do when you get done with this section here would be to do a test like that. Okay, so you see a, a lot of dirt and stuff on there that is picked up. I'm gonna take my drying towel and we're just gonna go over this section. Now, after this dries, it's super humid out today, but after this dries, you'll be able to, to really tell a difference between just kind of touching your hand on this section and then very lightly touching it on this section. Should be really smooth, should feel basically as smooth as glass. Now, if you do happen to get one of these towels, um, I'll show you kind of the process here with this. The reason that I like this is obviously it's bigger and it rinses out like I mentioned in the earlier section. We're gonna spray this down again. And then we'll spray this down. Same process, we're just gonna go over the paint very lightly. Just let it glide on there. You should be able to kind of hear if there's a rough section of paint, you should hear it start to take that off and then as it gets smoother, the sounds will go away and you'll just know that you've got most of it removed just by sound. Now on here, you won't really be able to see anything, but like I said, you can rinse it out and just start over with the towel. And if you've never done this process before, you should notice kind of a difference in the look of the paint right away. Um, it will make it look better even without putting anything on it because again, you're making it as clean as it can possibly be. So that feels pretty good. So that is basically how you clay a car. If you've ever heard somebody say that or maybe you had no idea what that meant, that's the process we're going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the car. It shouldn't take too long with something like this. You're just going to go section by section and then we'll move on to our next step. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.